First of all, my name is Billy Goldsmith. I'm a retired teacher, assistant football coach at Bull County High School. First of all, you women are so much tougher than us guys. I found that out several years ago when I went to the doctor. I was peeing blood. Well, they sent me to the urologist. Now, being a fat man, the thing that scares me the most is when the doctor had to take my clothes off in front of a woman. Well, I went in this place, and sure enough, there was a woman in there. Well, as so I looked closer, it was my neighbor. <laughs> well, it wasn't just my neighbor, it was my next door neighbor. And uh, she didn't like me very much at all. She looked about like a six foot Russian wrestler. I had a nickname for her, Natasha Killaway. You know, she looks at me and she says, uh, pants off. Well, first of all, it's the first time I've worn somebody in a long time. I appreciate you putting a smile on your face or something to me. <laughs> then she comes over pretty disgusted and says, uh, panties too. <laughs> well, you guys know when we take our pants down, we're not always ready for public viewing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we might have to slap around, pull on it, wake it up or something. I'm going to make a little press time and she's not hitting me, she's just staring at me. And finally I take my hands off and she goes like this. I'm going, God. I go to look, and I'm not like the rest of you. I get this big stomach in a way, I can't see it right off. <laughs> I got that dicky doo disease, you know, when my stomach sits down there further than my dicky doo. <laughs> As I lean forward, I immediately see the problem. Look like he's playing hide and go seek. Look like I just got out of Kroger, Kroger meat locker there. You all heard uh, Seinfeld when he was talking about shrinkage? This is Hall of Fame shrinkage right here. <laughs> well, anyway, about that time, here comes the doctor. He's just walking in. He goes like this. Oh, great. He can walk it straight to me, middle street words I've been waiting on in the stirrups. Well, you know what? He didn't say Mr. or Mrs. because this particular time, I don't believe he knew. <laughs> So he looks at me and he's got this big tube. I said, Doc, you gonna do that tube? He said, you don't want to do that tube. I said, good luck, you know. I says, Miss Kelly Woody, go get it. Well, she wasn't happy with this at all, right? She kind of kind of went after it like this and kind of dug through the forest a little bit there, found it, started pulling down, snapped back on her. <laughs> he said, don't look at me, go get it. Well, she grabbed it. Stuck that tube in there. Pulled about 10 hairs out in the process. Try that sometime. Pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> well, then Doc's looking through this tube and he says, uh, How's it going? I said, Pretty good. <laughs> it's going good. I was hoping I could do this again tomorrow if you get some time. <laughs> well, I get done and she actually kind of throws my clothes at me, you know, and leaves. I'm humiliated. All right, and all of a sudden I start hearing this laughter. Oh, great. You know, I need a good laugh right now. I'm in pretty bad shape. So I start following the noise. I get outside. There she is, the Russian queen, down there holding court. Got about five women there. She's going, yak, 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 yak. She sees me, <laughs> Mr. Goldsmith, Mr. Goldsmith. The ladies look at me. <laughs> so I leave, and very humiliated, like I said. What well, do you think would be the end of the story? You know, I told you she didn't like me, but now every time I see her, she comes up to me and she'll say, Mr. Goldsmith, I think we're going to have just a wee little bit of rain tonight, don't you? <laughs> And she'll say, you, you think your wife would mind if I'm already just a little bit of sugar? <laughs> she said, you ain't gonna believe this, but I pulled in here today, this guy cut me off and missed me by that much. <laughs> anyway, my name is Billy Goldsmith. Thank you. <laughs>